Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the 10 times Jeremy Kyle pissed off everyone. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the biggest controversies and scandals involving Jeremy Kyle that really angered the British public. Have you ever watched the Jeremy Kyle show? If so, what memories do you have about the series? Let us know below. Number 10. Headbutting Show In 2007, David Stainforth appeared in court after appearing on The Jeremy Kyle Show. During filming, Stainforth headbutted Larry Mahoney, who had been having an affair with his wife, Jenny. Stainforth was given a £300 fine. But it's what Judge Alan Berg said that caught the public's attention. After hearing how the show was really persistent in getting Stainforth to appear and lied to him by claiming there was a chance to reconcile with Jenny, Berg stated the show was a form of human bear baiting and that they were partly responsible for the assault charge. Yes, they should have taken that show off 14 years ago. It's disgraceful, it's bear baiting. He went further by saying the producers for the Jeremy Kyle show, who he described as self-righteous individuals, should be in the dock with Stainforth. Yikes. Number 9. Nanny Affair In 2002, Jeremy Kyle married his second wife, Carla Germain. Jumping to 2016, it was announced that they were getting divorced. But with all that going on, people wondered what had happened. Well, rumours began to circulate that both people were involved in having affairs, with Kyle's allegedly with his children's nanny, Vicky Burton. More eyebrows were raised when Jermaine cited the reason for the divorce was Kyle's unreasonable behaviour. Kyle and Burton state their relationship didn't begin until after she left her nanny role in spring 2016. Jermaine was reportedly livid with the announcement of Kyle and Burton's relationship. The two eventually married, but the dramatic story wouldn't be out of place on The Jeremy Kyle Show. Number 8. New Show After everything that happened with The Jeremy Kyle Show, more on that later, the public wasn't too keen on having Kyle back on their TV screens anytime soon. He had already dipped his toe back in the water with a drive-time radio show for Talk Radio, but in 2022, he announced he was getting his own primetime show on Talk TV. Kyle got a taste of it again by filling in for Piers Morgan for his series, but news of it being a regular gig has made folk uncomfortable. When filling in for Morgan, Kyle has been hit by a few controversies. When discussing the cost of living, Kyle disrespectfully referred to Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister of Scotland, as that horrible woman up north. Don't start me on her, because she annoys me. Number 7. Britain's Worst Husband Horror Before he hosted The Jeremy Kyle Show, he was hosting a series for Channel 5 called Britain's Worst Husband in 2005. If you haven't heard of it, that's because the show never aired, and for good reason. In it, Kyle encouraged Paul Pawson to leave his wife Erica and their daughter after 18 years of marriage. After following his advice, Erica took her own life a few days later. Pawson blames the show and Kyle for what happened. The Jeremy Kyle show has a history of tragedy. In 2007, Roger Irons appeared with his partner, Matthew Millington, to repair their relationship. Afterwards, Irons became depressed from constant taunting about his sexuality from the public. In 2008, he too took his own life. Number 6. Lie Detector Attack Famous for using a lie detector, the Jeremy Kyle show saw the consequences of its actions in 2009. Rebecca Langley appeared on the show and failed the test on whether she had cheated on her partner, Jamie Just. Weeks later, after the episode aired, Just viciously attacked Langley. When sentencing Just to two years in prison, Judge Sean Enright stated the show contained an element of cruelty and exploitation. Another incident involves Craig Platt, who found out on the show that he wasn't the father to his wife Jane's child in 2007. A week later, whilst drunk, he pointed a loaded air rifle at Jane's head. She managed to escape through the bathroom window. Platt was sentenced to at least 18 months in prison. Number 5. Gambling Addiction Jeremy Kyle has made it clear that he faced his demons when he had a gambling addiction. But without being specific, probably gets sucked into that I can make money out of nothing, talks about that buzz. At one point, he found himself in £12,000 worth of debt. Kyle negotiated a deal with the bank manager to pay it back in instalments. Later, he overcame his addiction. 
Well, with that history, you'd expect him to have some sympathy for addicts when he hosted the Jeremy Kyle show, but no. Kyle regularly fired venom at those struggling. His addiction played a big role in the demise of his first marriage to Kirsty Rowley, who tied the knot in 1989. Rowley claimed the reason for the marriage ending by 1991 was that Kyle stole money from her account to gamble with. Number 4. Inspiring Idiots If you're partly responsible for inspiring one of the vilest people around, you'd probably rethink your stance. But that doesn't seem to be the case for Kyle. In 2018, a viral video spread everywhere showing a racist woman ranting on the London overground. Along with spouting anti-immigration rhetoric, regularly swearing, and just being terrible, the woman also claimed she was a Jeremy Kyle wannabe. She also said moronic things like, let Britain be British. According to the poster, this woman had been doing her grim mangled speech for a good 20 minutes before they began recording. Transport for London reportedly began an investigation with the police on the horrid train lady. Number 3. Lie Detector Lies If there's one thing the Jeremy Kyle show was really proud of, it was their lie detector tests. Also known as a polygraph, the show had a disclaimer that whilst they believe the test is 96% accurate, some practitioners disagree with their opinion. Well, polygraphs are seemingly a lot less accurate than they all wanted us to believe. After all, in court cases, polygraphs aren't admissible as evidence. In 1997, 421 psychologists were surveyed and gave polygraphs an accuracy rating of 61%. This is incredibly low. Flipping a coin might be just as effective when it comes to truth-telling. With this in mind, it makes you question just how many relationships were ruined on The Jeremy Kyle Show with a measly accuracy rating. Number 2. Murder Suspect on the Show in 2008, Paul Gilbert was fatally stabbed multiple times in Newcastle after accidentally bumping into Philip Craggs and his twin brother Mark. After the duo was arrested and released as they awaited trial, you can imagine the surprise of Gilbert's family when the Craggs appeared on the Jeremy Kyle show. The episode, filmed before the attack, had Philip accusing Mark of having an affair with his fiancée. Gilbert's family called the show to fill them in on what happened and were promised a personal apology. Instead, the episode was repeated in the following months. A spokesperson for the show stated it was done in error. Philip Craggs was sentenced to a minimum of 15 and a half years in prison for the stabbing, whilst Mark received 21 months. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 1. The End of the Jeremy Kyle Show in 2019, shortly after filming a segment on The Jeremy Kyle Show and failing a lie detector test on cheating on his former partner, Steve Diamond tragically took his own life. ITV immediately cancelled the episode's airing and suspended the show. Not long after, they axed it altogether. The show's duty to the guests was heavily criticised by MPs and the public. Kyle's own aggressive presenting style when confronting Diamond was also under fire. In 2022, Channel 4 released the documentary Jeremy Kyle Show Death on Daytime, which examined the program's fall and highlighted numerous issues within production with testimony from former employees. Kyle stated he intended to sue Channel 4 over their false and damaging documentary. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.